going on YouTube? Dave Maximilian here and I'm gonna do a demonstration on making fire with flint and steel and there's some key things that you want to do before you even attempt to make your fire first off you need a good base of wood or, gra or dirt or whatever that's really dry so that way if the ground is wet like it is today because there's still snow on the ground you're not trying to build your fire on a wet base plus you're already going to need to have gathered some nice small twigs like this that aren't very big so that way you can begin to get the fire going after you've already got flame and you just want to hold this and keep it set aside you also are going to need a good bird nest I don't I don't mean actually go find a bird's nest but you want to get some tinder together some material together that you can build into a bird's nest that will take flame easily and what I'm going to use is a bundle of jute twine with some pieces of bark in it that will help to get fire going like this and I've also got some things here in my kit that will help to do that just some more dry material I got some cattail in there and stuff like that and some more bark that I'm going to use to get help get this going but then you want to get your flint and your steel here as well as your char cloth you can also use uh, punk wood that you've charred it'll work good too and because some of this is still pretty wet I'm gonna cheat and use a little bit extra char cloth what you do you place your char cloth on top of your flint like so and you just strike from top top down and we've already got an ember going here so once you get that you're gonna place your char cloth into your tinder bundle and blow it into flame Just like that. Then get your smaller twigs, set them on there. Don't drown it out like I already think I did. You'll need to continue to blow on it as needed to just help get it established. But once you do, make sure to keep feeding it good wood, dry wood. Start out with small size diameter twigs 
and work your way up to larger ones. You can't start out with really big ones right away because your fire is not going to be established well enough to start out with big stuff right away. So start with small and work your way up. It's pretty much that easy. There's not a whole lot to it. You just want dry material. Good material to make your bird's nest. I use jute twine. And then start out working with twigs about this size. And then work your way up. What I've got for my tinder bundle or for my fire kit is I always keep a good amount of tree resin, tree sap, along with little chunks of bark and stuff like that to kind of help get stuff going if I need it. I've also got my flint and my steel. got my char cloth I've got extra jute twine so if I need to make another bird's nest or tinder bundle more tree sap with old man's beard it's moss that grows on trees dried out of course Those items I keep in my fire pouch. It's just a leather fire pouch I can wear on my belt. I've got pockets here for knives. I've got a fire piston as well. I got some more supplies in this front pouch. And my tinder kit is where I keep all my other burnable material. I got more cattail even more jute twine and another thing that's really 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 good is chaga which unfortunately does not grow here it grows in Alaska and your northern states cold cold areas and it grows on birch trees it's a fungus that grows on birch trees this stuff is great it'll also hold an ember for a really long time if you need to move to a different location to for for camping or getting a fire going That's just, that's pretty much it. Just a good old fashioned way of making fire, flint and steel. The technique's been around for thousands and thousands of years. Cavemen did it, uh, Native American did it, Native Americans did it. It's just a, it's a good, good way to practice, good way to know how to do things. I enjoy it, it's one of my favorite ways of fire starting. Um, I'm still kind of perfecting the bow and drill method. But this is my kit that I use for primitive fire making.
anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching. See ya.